Welcome back to Be Terrific. I am your host for the next two days, Jason Aaron, and we are live in New York City as all the best technology comes under the roof of the Metropolitan Pavilion. And I am here with Alan Hirsch of Handel. Alan, you know, we've been talking so far. We've had a Bluetooth speaker, a set of headphones, and a smart home smoke alarm carbon monoxide detector. I'll try to remember everything. It's easy now because we're only, we're only four in. Um, but cell phone, my phone seldom leaves. I mean, it's, it's inches for me right now. All right, my phone does not leave my hand throughout the day. Yet, there are inefficiencies with ways I want to use my phone. Um, sometimes it's just stuck to my hand and I need to get it out. What have you guys done? Uh, I came at this problem as an artist. I'm a painter, I'm known as a painter. So one day, I was painting with a paintbrush in my hand, one hand, and I was texting with the other, uh, with uh, one of the large display phones that had just come out. And I realized how inefficient it was. Uh, with one hand, I'm expressing my thoughts and feelings through my fingers on a canvas. and the other, I'm expressing my thoughts and feelings through a, a metal box that's not adapted to my body at all. So I wanted to create an organic interface, easy to access with one hand. And I went through hundreds of prototypes. I tried all kinds of things on my hands until I came up with this very simple patented design, which is basically a brace and a piece of elastic. It slips on your hand with one, one shot in a split second. You can hold it in different ways. You can twist it around. You can take farther selfies. You can, and when you need both hands, you can, it converts into a stand. So I wanted to make, create the most versatile, simple device interface. I call it an interface, not a phone case. But um, I'm there, I'm, I took it on as a passion, kind of an art passion project. So I'm developing different models that have to do with our the way we touch touch our technology. So I'm I've got fur I'm developing fur and soft models. So I want us to get back in touch with our fingers and the way we touch things because really we express everything through our, our 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 fingers when we touch things. I know that as an artist that's that's what I do all day long. So uh, I'm very gratified by the response so far and. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. mean, look, this is something that I, I mean, I can certainly talk about all day, and I'm sure many of our viewers can talk about because we all have these devices. Um, I know for me, and everyone feels a little bit differently, right? For some people, they might drop their device on the floor all the time, and they need something that's going to protect against that, and you have things like the Otter Box, but it takes your phone and it makes it huge. I mean, we're both sitting here in a suit. You know, the only way to really carry an Otter Box in something like this is to wear it on your belt, and then it's cumbersome, and who really wants that? You know, the phone designers do a phenomenal job in terms of form factor coming out of the factory, but it's, it's so unsafe, it's so impractical. Uh, you know, the iPhone is beautiful the way it is. It's like a metal bar of soap, though. Right, but it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna <laughs> last for just about a week before I'm getting my next iPhone because it's cracked into a billion mm -hmm. pieces. Uh -huh. um, so then, for me, it becomes, well, what's the thinnest case that I can get? Because for me, it's like, I want the protection, but then I'm not getting all the features. Mm -hmm. uh, before you showed me how that clips in and becomes a stand, that was like, boom, you know, right, right off the bat because it's, you know, this is so thin, it doesn't increase the form factor of the phone by all that much, certainly no more than any other, you know, once you got a case, or once you, it, it's there, it's gonna get a little bit thicker, yeah. but this is so thin, yet also has so much functionality in it. Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah, no, it does, especially for large screen phones, it also allows you to fully access and, and operate your phone complete with one hand, so even with if you have small hands. So, and it's, uh, you know, older people like it because it's secure, they don't worry about dropping it. You can, anywhere you can reach your hand, you can basically use your, use so your phone now. So, you've been using this obviously a while and testing yeah, I've been it and prototyping this for a it. Couple of years, yeah. How, what, what additional things, I mean, give us some use cases. What are you able to do now that you have this that you couldn't before? Uh, well, <laughs> a lot of, I can say some of the things people have told me, and I can speak for myself, but I'm a multitasker. So if I'm not doing two or three things at once, I'm not, I'm not working. So I like to do one thing with one hand, one thing with the other. So I can, I can, that solves my problem. So, and, uh, 
I work in the bathtub a lot in the morning on my computer. I slip this on when I need to use the phone. I put it on a stand. It solves that problem. Uh, people read in bed. Sometimes they end up dropping their phone on their faces. So you just have a, you sort of feel like the phone is floating in your hand. So it's a really, uh, this was a lot of trial and error to get to this very simple design, but I think it, uh, I'm gratified by the, by the response I've gotten. And I think it, you'll find you can use your phone in a lot more different, a lot of situations that you wouldn't have before. I am sure that our viewers that are watching right now have a question that I must ask. Are you now effectively able to text with one hand? Only. Well, who would text with two hands? <laughs> so, so, I mean, that is, that is already huge problem solved. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a big deal. Sometimes you don't want to interrupt your life. You're holding somebody's hand or whatever. You're doing something and you have an important message coming in or something. You know, it, just, it does make it more of a seamless integration into your lifestyle. So that was... Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I'm certainly sold. Two big questions, of course. Number one is where do our users, where do they find out more information about this? Uh, handliberation.com is my site. You can see what's going on. You can buy directly from the site. Uh, Amazon, it's on Amazon. Bestbuy.com will have it soon. And a lot of retailers are expressing interest. So, uh, you know, soon hopefully you'll see it in the stores. and. Uh, and that, of but, course, leads into question number two. What, what are the price points of the uh, different models? The new models are $49.99. Uh, they're soft bumpered all the way around, very sleek. And I'm selling uh, first generation handles right now, a discount, $24.99. We have for the uh, six. We have for the, actually, I have some left for the Note 4, which also fits the Note 3. And I have uh, iPhone 6 uh, Plus, first generation. Uh, so uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm spinning away at it. I've got some, uh, you know, I'm, to me it's creating a, a kind of art in a, a different way. But uh, you know, I'm excited about it. It's I want to affect people's, I want to change people's perception about how they touch their phone also and how they touch things. So that, that's amazing. I'm sold. I'm super excited to use it. Uh, you've seen it here at live at CE Week 2016, the handle. Make sure to check yours out at handliberation.com. We will be back with more live coverage from the Metropolitan Pavilion on Be Terrific. I'm Jason Aaron. Stay tuned.